Light Talk Episode 18. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Light Talk episode. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Retail Pro. And yes, don't be scared, hit us up with your message on Facebook too. We get a ton of messages and I reply to every single message. So in today's tutorial, I want to talk about this Light Talk here, basically Light Talk number 18, about a portrait that we did in front of a service station for a client. So the client approached us with having a portrait, so basically um, the CEO in front of his service station of Total. So yeah, first of all, I went out and took a few exposures just of the background, meaning I went to a few locations that the client suggested for the best looking service station and then took a few shots just of the service station. Now, I did this all on a tripod and as well with long exposures, so I can get all the details from all the dark parts and all the light parts. And as you can see on the service stations is a lot of light, so a lot of red strips, a lot of white lights so i tried to take my apertures up a little bit and also the shutters to a high speed so i only do take a quick photo to capture all these light elements then also taking everything down with the shutter keeping the same aperture but having some long exposures on that firstly again to capture a little bit of light on the whole service station to have it nice and bright and also sky a little bit and then also if a car passes you to get these nice light streaks or light um, whatever you call it when a car drives past you will see these light strips going through because they also wanted a bit of motion in the photograph okay that was my first step so i've got that in the box now i went over to shooting just the portrait of the ceo so the ceo couldn't leave his office so for that we had to shoot it in his office okay so how to get around that First of all, I tried to work with a background again. The background was important for me to easily cut out the CEO. With the pen tool, I can easily go around and cut him out. Now, for the light exposure, what I did for the strobes was again in the foreground having an 82-inch umbrella, a silver inline with no diffusing material. He's obviously a dark-skinned person, so again, that will give him a nice bright push and a pop on his whole body and face again. So I've only used the 82 inch umbrella silver inlined again for the front shop. It's also obviously filling up a little bit, but I didn't place this straight on. I placed this a little bit off to the left or right side in order for me to have a bit of shadows on the right hand side on his face as well, as you guys can see here on the picture. And then as well from the background, I've used again a strip softbox with grid in order to get a really cool rim light from the right hand side, but not too strong, just a little bit. I don't, I haven't over pushed the power on this i don't want to have it blowing out just very very subtle and then our very important point again i use the grid because i didn't want to have too much spill on my background you can obviously do that because you can cut out the whole person here afterwards so it's no not really necessary to shoot it with the grid but it's just more refined and the light is a bit more easy to control when you do this also, another point what was very important for me here was again, I, I know what I have with my location and the background. Now placing in the subject into it, I knew that on the background I only have a light, really bright light spot from the right, or when you guys see it now from the left side. So lighting up my subject from his right side is very important because it looks more authentic and real and it looks like kind of he would be really standing in that area. And on the left hand side of the portrait here, basically the subject's left side, I kept this dark on purpose because it merges a little bit better with the service station with the background. But again, you can play a little bit with this, maybe a bit of shoulder light wouldn't have been so bad, but I kept it like that and the client was happy as well. But yeah, overall lit this out just with two lights. Again, the umbrella 82 inch silver inline from the front, nice pop, also nice and high. And then as well, the right strip light again with some grid. So yeah, that's basically it. Again, also the background, having it over and under exposed a bit and playing a bit with the variety. And that's basically then over in Photoshop, cutting out and merging the whole picture together. So that's it guys, super easy to shoot this little portrait picture here. So yeah, if you guys like this content, don't forget to share this and also hit us up there with a like button if you enjoy these light talks. If you have any questions about this, leave them down below in the comment box or send me a message on Facebook again. Thanks again for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. And you still want to see some more light talk tutorials? Then wait no longer, you should just simply click here on the right hand side. 
Yep, it is the right hand side. You should just click here on the right hand side and find some more Light Talk tutorials. Or head over to our website and on our website we have a whole bundled up section just with Light Talks teaching you a little bit more of how and what to do when it comes to studio lighting. So yeah, just click away.